Well, time to get into the nitty gritty now and find a best bet or two. But one best bet up there in Singapore is the racing guide. Make sure you head out to the usual outlets and pick up this superb racing guide, this publication, which will send you in the right direction for all the winners in Perth when you're up there betting in Singapore. Right, we need to find our best bets here, Dion. And the best bet of the day for me comes up in race three, number three, Motivator. Just finds the right race. As I said earlier on, my only concern is a strongly run 1,600 metres. But uh, talking to you off air, you, you are of the opinion that the uh, strongly run 1,600 will probably help this horse because he wanted to get on the steel a little bit. So you've straightened me up again there, young man. And race three, number three, Motivator for me. Uh, race two, number one, Centrum for me. William Pike on board this week. It was a brilliant effort by Centrum last week by the three-year-old gelding. And I think he'll be winning this week. He's by far my favourite jockey out there at the moment, William Pike. And it'll be my best bet. Race two, number one, Centrum. Now, the best value bet of the day, I'm locking horns with you and going race two, number three, Casper Cowboy. Two starts ago, he was a half a length behind Centrum at even weights. He gets a three kilogram pull. I know William Pike does go into Centrum and I'm taking nothing away from his last run. Since then, Casper Cowboy came out and trounced a hot field which included Capo de Grano. So number three in race two, my value bet, Casper Cowboy. The first race of the day, race one, number six, La Carouse is my value bet. Well, I think you'll get good value about La Carouse. It was a Brilliant effort last week, up to 1,200 metres with the blinkers on. I think she'll be running into the multiples and I think she'll be good value for money. Race one, number six, La Carouse. Copying an each way tip there from the Luciani stable. It really was an eye-catching run, uh, wasn't she, La Carouse? Uh, she did her best work late and just had to be eased up as that horse was coming back into a lap. So uh, you think the blinkers go on, she'll just be a bit sharper at the 1,200? Well, her first race start, she actually jumped straight to the front, burned them off and led. Mm. Uh, her two starts since, she hasn't run bad races, but she's just really failed to show that bit of speed. So uh, Lou Luciani's put the blinkers on this week to hopefully get her on the bridle. She's drawn the outside, which could be a concern. It's going to take a very good ride from Jason Whiting, but he's in form... Uh, fish goes, and I think he'll be giving us a good ride. So race one, number six, La Carouse, value bet. Now our rating special, or my rating special, comes up in the last, number nine, Vintrack. She's been in wonderful form. Uh, she can act at any distance, 12, 14 or 1,600 metres. She's in the zone. That's where Lindsay Smith likes to get them. And I think she'll be good each way odds in the last. My rating special, race eight, number nine, Vintrack. Race four, number two, Lord's Ransom for me. Spoke to Adam Durant during the week, as I reported, and Adam gave me a good report on this gelding, and I think he'll be very hard to beat Lord's Ransom. Race four, number two, Lord's Ransom. And before I go, I'd like to wish the Singapore Turf Club all the best for the Emirates Singapore Derby on this Sunday. Duplessis, Beeman, Nicolick, all the big names will be riding there. Should be a wonderful day. Should be, Marty. There's good riders up there, and it should be good racing. Don't forget, our live coverage of Perth Racing starts up there in Singapore at 12 noon. Happy punting, and I hope you can all find a winner. Yes, the full team will be live from Belmont Park this Saturday, including Darren McCauley, Wes Cameron, Dion Luciani, and yours truly. Catch us then from 12 o'clock. Until then, we'll see you next time on the Perth Racing Preview.